Hey guys, it's Gravity the Ghost here with the obligatory Super Smash Bros. 5 prediction video. There's some real quality content here, so I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and get notified of my videos. Even though I uh, really haven't uploaded in the past three months. So. Anyways, on to the video. Before I go over how I will be predicting this video, I will be said that this prediction is based off of this that this upcoming Smash game is the fifth entry in the series and not a port. I feel like this game will mostly be a new game, but we'll probably reuse some assets from the Wii version, so development probably won't take too long. Modes will probably also be brought back to make development go by smoother, but we don't really know that. So now we got that out the way, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this prediction. Uh, I would predict a name and release info, characters and modes. I would also like to predict things like stages and assist trophies, but I don't want this video to drag on for too long. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. I don't know. We'll find out. But first up, let's talk about the name. I actually think that the name will be called Super Smash Bros. Versus. And why is that? Well, uh, simply is that if it's this game is if this game really is Smash Five, um, it would make sense to that Versus would be the name because the first letter in Versus V is also the Roman numeral for five. V five, yeah. Not only that, but the word versus also has a relation to fighting and battling similar to how Brawl and Melee was. If it doesn't get named versus, I won't be mad. But if it does get the name, I will probably go nuts and others will think I'm an industry insider or something. No, like that hasn't happened already. As for release info, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm predicting that it's going to come out on September 21st, 2018. And not only that, but also it will launch alongside the Nintendo Switch Online service, which will also launch on the same day. Now on to the reason why you even clicked on this video. The characters. Oh boy, let me get my flame shields up, because this is going to be a wild ride. Alright, first up is returning characters. Now there's a debate whether the Smash, all of the Smash 4 roster will return, or if certain characters will be cut. I don't really mind either way, as long as they don't cut my main, so I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. But I did make a little chart on what characters have a chance of being cut. And here it is. Yeah. Don't yell at me because your favorite character's on this chart. I'll give my reasoning in short bursts. Alright, for the first one, I feel like these characters have the highest chances of being cut. Weep and Trainer kind of felt like a one-time thing. And uh, you know that Nintendo wants to depart from the Wii brand, because, um, you know, it's, it was the casual age. <laughs> Alright, as for Cloud Strife here, um, I think he was just most, the most out of left field character to put in Smash. He really has no history for Nintendo other than the history of being the game that made Square Enix turn away from Nintendo. Um, <laughs> this is not really a good idea. So I, I, I really don't think he'll come back for another round. It just doesn't make it just it's, it's weird that he's in Smash in the first place. Okay, the next for the next row we have the three clones, uh, Dr. Mario, Lucina, and Dark Pit. So usually clones tend to get you know get cut when moving to a new game, so it's expected. Um, but Roy, uh, however, is. Somewhat of a Marv clone still. He still he has some differences here and there, but he still like a, he's he still has the majority of his moves are still based off of Marv's moves. So I don't really think that would make him come back. Um, really, because really the only reason why Sakurai brought him back to DLC is because of fan service and people were just you know begging for it, for him to return as since Melee. So. I don't really think that he would come back again if they are making cuts. Alright, for the third row, I would like to call this row the only if row. So ba the base reason why I call it that is because a lot of these, uh, each one would only get cut if certain things were to happen. Um, for the case of Bayonetta, there's the case of should she be nerfed or should she be cut entirely? And it's up to Sakurai to decide whether which one he wants to do. If he decides the latter over the former, then uh, I wouldn't. I, honestly, a lot of people probably would like that because Bayonetta is so broken in Super Smash Bros. 4. Anyways, as for Ryu, it's only if Capcom is okay with keeping him in. To be honest, same thing with probably Mega Man, but Mega Man's probably gonna stay. 
is the thing is for Ryu, I don't know. Especially as they're giving Street Fighter V a lot of attention and that's a PlayStation exclusive game. I don't know. And as for Corrin, I guess if there's too many Fire Emblem characters in the roster already, then again, uh, there isn't really much reasoning for him to be caught. Uh, let's just remove him and pretend that I didn't put him on this uh, chart. Yeah. All right, I want the next one. <laughs> All right, the last two are pretty hard doozies. Um, these ones are the ones that people will get mad at me for, and I don't really care at this point. Uh, for Rosalina and Sheik, it's more of a question of relevancy. These two have their 30 seconds of fame, but I feel like if Sakurai thinks they aren't relevant in the year of 2018, they'll probably get cut. You know, Rosalina, she was popular in, you know, in the Super Mario Galaxy days and such. And, you know, she had quite a following, especially when she gained in Smash. You know, Sheik, as for Sheik, Sheik has only been in one Zelda game, Ocarina of Time. Yes, I understand Ocarina of Time is, you know, the most, one of the most well-known Zelda games, but still, only from one game. And the only reason why she was still in the game is because she was part of Zelda's moveset. And now that the separate characters, I think it's impossible that Sheik might get cut because, you know, she's not rele really relevant anymore. I, that's just my opinion. But hey, all of them could come back. And uh, <laughs> for the last two, here's what I, here's basically why I put other. So basically, I feel like one Pokemon rep should get cut in favor of adding a new one. Um, but I really don't know who. Like, each one has a case of staying, and each one has a case of, you know, not wanting to come back. Well, he's not probably going to come back. You know, for Char, for the case of Charizard, like, there's too many Gen, there's too many Gen 1 Pokemon, yeah? That's, that's one of the arguments. And as for Lucario, uh, really the one that I have is just, he's really not that relevant anymore. And because of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee coming out, uh, I'm fairly sure that Charizard is probably going to stay. So I think Lucario will probably get cut. To be honest, Lucario has had his time. Um, he isn't really relevant anymore in this day and age. Especially, you know, the only boom. I mean, X and Y made him relevant again because he got a Mega Evolution. But in Gen 7, really no. Like, uh, I think other Pokemon are more important to him. More important to the series than Lucario. He had his time in his son, but I think it's time for him to go. That's just what I think. But then again, everyone could come back and I'll be fine with that. Alright, on to the new additions. <laughs> So I'm back with the chart again. This time it's going to be a chart with characters that were planned for Smash 4, characters from new or newer IPs, characters from existing IPs, and third parties. Um, we'll just be filling this out as we go. Now it's actually been shown that characters planned for past Smash games tend to actually get in the next game. Examples include Marth from 64, to Melee, Warrior from Melee to Brawl, and Villager from Brawl Bros. 4. Uh, so for this row, three characters stick out to me as shoe in for this game. The three characters that I want to come back is, uh, well, first the obvious one, the Ice Climbers. It's most likely they're probably going to come back. Uh, yeah. The second one is Takamura from the Mysterious Murasami Castle. The reason why Sakurai didn't add him in Smash 4 as a playable character, he's an assist trophy, um, is because he felt that his game wasn't as recognizable overseas outside of Japan but now that Mysterious Murasama Castle is you know released internationally on the 3DS eShop I feel like that he's more well known than he was in 2014 so I think he really should come back and become a full-on character I, I, I'd, I'd give him a try I'd give him a shot I'd play that character and finally a new rhythm having character yes I don't care how many times you want to deny it but a rhythm having character was planned for Smash, and there's nothing you can do about it. The evidence is there. Sneaky Spirit enemy in, Sm in Smash Run, and the only enemies that are in Smash Run are characters in Smash, especially how the Polar Bear enemy from Ice Climbers in Smash, even though they got cut. You know, there's a bunch of rhythm having trophies. Um, there's even a rhythm having icon found in the data of 
Smash Wii U, it just shows that yes, a Breath of the character was planned. So the Jamatsu League was real. Anyways, um, obviously the one that was in the rumors was the Chorus Kids. So it's most likely that they will probably come back. However, other characters that can do the job better would be characters like Tibby or Karate Joe. Um, so e really either of these characters are fine with me, but in my opinion, I think we need a rhythm heavy character. It's one of the, you know, one of the modern Nintendo franchises that still hasn't been represented. As for the new or newer IPs, um, Inkling's a given, it's already confirmed. Um, not really much to say about that. As for ARMS, I think that we'll get a character in the form of Springman. Um, but usually it, it would depend on the game when the Smash game was in development because uh, it's also depending on when ARMS was in development. Like if Sakurai knew about this game while he was developing Smash. Um, I'm thinking he would because especially as, you know, a lot of these are, a lot of these Switch games probably were in development for at least one or two years. So I think they, you know, they know about it. Um, the last one is Rex and Pyra. Now I know Xenoblade is not a new IP, but it's more of like a newer series, as you know, it came in, it's, what, what, the first game was like 2011, I think? I don't remember. Um, but, a lot of people actually think Elma from Xenoblade Chronicles X would probably get in, uh, because of the, you know, because of the development arc. When was Smash developed? Um, but when you think about it, they kind of, Mamosoft actually said that uh, Xenoblade X and Xenoblade 2 was actually developed around the same time. So I think Rex and Pi will probably make it in over Elma, and then maybe Elma will be like a trophy or an assist trophy, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's just what I think. Next is the existing IPs. I'm going to make this short because I don't want this to drag on. We're just going to list them, list them off here and there. Uh, so we got Waluigi, Bandana Waddle whoever the new Fire Emblem protagonist is for the next game, or it could be Alma Marcelica from uh, Shadows of Valencia. Uh, Linkle from Hyrule Warriors, yes. <laughs> this, that's an interesting one. And a Gen 7 Pokemon. Um, in my opinion, likely choices being Decidueye, Mimikyu, or Tapu Koko. And finally, third parties. First, I believe that we kind of need an indie game representative in some shape or form. Like, indie games has made a huge impact on the gaming industry, and I feel like it would be a crime to not include one. My personal choice would be Shantae. She's been around with Nintendo since the Game Boy Color, and you know, she's been pretty much on the latest Nintendo systems. As for the last one, I'm not really sure. We've already had the most iconic faces in gaming already in Smash, and I don't really have any third party character in particular that I want. But uh, some requests that I've been seeing floating around here and there, characters like Simon Belmont, Rayman, and Crash Bandicoot. In my opinion, it's fair game for anyone, as long as they're within the realm of possibility. So, uh, no Sans from Undertale, no Steve from Minecraft. Uh, yeah. As for modes, all I really want is Smash 4 replaced with Smash Run. Smash Run is, in my opinion, the most superior mode out of the two, and it'll be perfect for 4 player split screen, especially in sequel TV mode. And then in handheld mode, you can just have, you know, one specific for every Switch or something. Um, and then maybe they can give us some different maps other than the same exact Smash Run area that you can get power ups. And also maybe change the time for for the final battles because one minute kind of feels too short. Uh, some other things that I would like, uh, I, would, uh, I would appreciate in adventure mode, but I don't expect one happening. Um, but another thing that I would like them to bring back is the traditional target smash and also maybe bring back board the platforms from the original 64 version. Um, also, I would like, you know, hopefully stage builder returns. And if they do, I would like them to give us more options for Sage Builder. It was much better than in, in Smash 4 than it was in Brawl, but I think they should still approve upon it. Also, if we do get Target Smash and for the platforms, maybe they can let us build our own stages of those. That'd be really cool. 
And that's all for my prediction list. Uh, I didn't. I don't expect all of this to be correct in any way. But if they are, uh, you can call me the new Nintendo leaker, because <laughs> I know all their secrets. All of them. Nintendo, you can't hide from me. I know everything. Oh no, who's that? We've been waiting for you to say that. Oh no, it's the Nintendo Ninjas! Help! So if it, but if it does, if it does get the name, I'll probably go nuts and others will probably think I'm an Indistrati. Indistrati? What the heck? <laughs> Indistrati. Indistrati. <laughs> <laughs>